Hey there everyone, this is my first time using this product and here's going to be my opinion and review upon using it. P.S. I ain't a professional so please bear with me. It is also my first time using a pen tablet like this. My hand rating sucks but hopefully it's not that bad right? Thing is, I took quite a long time before being able to use this tablet because I'm an idiot and I did not know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> So I'll be explaining everything I learned upon using this tablet so you don't have to go through any trouble if you decide to buy this product. We'll be going through each items in the box and then have a little sketch and do a little speed paint, you know, just to test it out. So I hope you watch the video all the way through, you might find something interesting in there. So here is the box, the front of the box, and it's really, really, really fancy, not gonna lie, I really like the box, it's really tough and everything. So here's going to be what you're gonna be expecting when you open the box or when you receive your product. There's of course the tablet in the front, down. Then whatever this is. <laughs> and then a stand, you can also buy a separate stand, but it's not going to be included in this package. You have to buy it separately. And here is, of course, the instruction manual. Here's the pen for the pen tablet. Here's the pen holder. And here is the HDMI connector. As well as the power cable, which is also a USB cable. And inside the small box is the power supply adapter. Here is the pen for the pen tablet, which is also battery free in my surprise. It has 8192 pressure levels and 2 extra ski. Here we have the pen holder or the pen stand. And of course, inside we have 8 extra nibs if you ever lose your, you know, original nib. <laughs> what you just saw me yeet across is of course the instruction manual along with the tablet glove and the tablet cleaning cloth. And please, for the love of God, Read the instruction manual. I did not and try to do everything. I I don't know. It just didn't work. It just <laughs> Let's just say it's gonna save you a lot of time to actually read it. Plus it's super easy. I was just really dumb. And what can you expect from a beginner? So here it is. Tablet glove. It's pretty comfortable, I'm not gonna lie. And it has a really cool design. But it didn't really fit me. So yeah, sad. <laughs> of course you have the it's HDMI connector so you can connect it to your, you know, computer, laptop. And of course you have the power cable along with the USB cable. This is my first time handling this so yeah there's that. And of course inside this box as I mentioned earlier is a power supply adapter. Luckily my laptop can generate enough power so I didn't really need this. <laughs> And of course, here we have the leather stand, which you can just stick through your tablet through adhesive. It's really tough. Time for the big boy. This is really big. Like, really big. It's huge. It's like the size of the screen on my laptop. Considering this is 13.3 inches, I am not surprised. Here we have the back. Of course, here we have the logo of the company, Gaumon. Okay, so I don't know if this is normal for pen tablets, but this has a headphone jack. And that's even the volume. You can increase the volume through that button. As well as the brightness and everything. There we have the power button up at the top. Here at the top, we have the HDMI port. And the two ports down there in the bottom are both Type-C ports. And we're just gonna stick it right through here. <laughs> there you go. Flip it over. Ah, beautiful. To be 
people asking, yes, you can actually connect this to an Android. However, the connector will be bought separately if you want to use it. So don't mind me trying so hard to open this package. <laughs> and also do not mind me wrecking the whole thing. So here we are going to do a speed paint to test it out. I already done the sketch, so we're going to do the line art, base color, and then some shadings. Alright, before I go quiet, for people wondering, I use Medibang on this one.
and we're done it turned out much more better than i expected so that's a plus plus for me that is i don't know for you guys and then after that i just went ahead and do a few little sketches just to end the video with watching the video. I'll see you my little gumdrops in my next video. Bye!